Hello there, YouTubers. This is a little video, hopefully, of uh, me putting uh, my uh, V8 in this here 39 Pontiac. Uh, took my fenders off, front clip, nose, hood, all that kind of stuff off. And uh, went out and bought this here uh, cherry picker thing from the auto parts store. And using uh, a bunch of tools uh, uh, hmm, that are laying down underneath the car there. <laughs> I uh, set the uh, cherry picker over the engine and bolted it on. And I bolted my engine and yanked it back out of there. Um, the I got... I don't know. I had the car for about three years. I got the engine to work really good. Drove nice, but uh, you had to shift it. And it went really slow. And, uh, percolated and you know tried to quit on me a few times. So um, carburetor percolated and uh, made the engine kind of run rough. So anyway, uh, yanked it out of there. Decided to to uh, put a V8 in and. Uh, here you can see some of the detail of the pulling of the engine. Uh, drive shaft laying there. Um, so uh, let's see here. The firewall and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, old wheels on there. Here's the engine sitting on some four by fours. Um, sold the uh, engine and all the goodies. The generator. The starter, the whole, the carburetor, the, the whole mess. hundred bucks to some guy who was wanting, wanting to build a rat rod. Don't know if he ever got it built or not. This is my 700R4 that I bought from some guy in an alley. And I didn't know if it worked. And then uh, I bought uh, all these engine parts from another guy I didn't know. It was a 71 uh, Chevelle engine. 350 uh, 4 bolt mains. Uh, here you see the uh, four volt mains. Uh, anyway, uh, tried to put it together, couldn't figure out how to do that, so I uh, gave the parts to a friend of mine that rebuilds engines, and he rebuilt it for me. Here you see my 700R4 being married up to the engine, and here I am uh, trying to figure out where to put the rear uh, transmission mount. Here's what I got. There's my kitty cat, and my rear engine cross member, uh, frame cross member, which I wanted a bolt in in case uh, I wanted to yank the transmission without pulling the engine. And uh, you can see some of the detail. I just centered the tailpiece in there where it had to go in the X member. Uh, put the engine in, left about about an inch between the distributor and the firewall so I can get my hand back there and uh, then here's the front engine mounts I tried to use the, the clamshell ones but uh, I couldn't figure out how to make the mounts go around my steering so I built these front engine mounts which then on the first run out bent uh, from the torque so I had to pull the both engine mounts and sister all the members up with uh, more steel so to date they haven't bent and then I had to figure out a way to get my um, exhaust uh, my Sanderson collectors <laughs> I had to cut them up and then weld them back together this idea of cutting a bunch of slots in the pipe and then welding it didn't work um, they would, I cut the slots and bent the pipe and then when I went to weld it together it was a lot of welding so decided I didn't want to weld it all and grind it all. So instead I used uh, little pieces of pipe. I uh, bought some U-bends and I just set them down on this old table that I have and put them on, put them on the car put the, for the measurement and then put it down on the table and uh, stick everything together with scotch tape and stuff and then weld it and uh, this is what I ended up with. There's a little part welded in there. You know, weld them in and then grind down what you can get to. 
you can see some of the detail of where I've ground down some of the stuff that I haven't ground down yet and then they just you know, did what I did until I could get it in there with uh, the steering box still on and then after I got the headers built and driving around I decided I wanted power steering and that box was a whole lot bigger than the stock one and I ended up having to cut this header all apart and redo the whole thing so that's it uh, see you later youtubers have a nice day